Let's go back in time to 1846 when dentist William T.G. Morton stood front and center in a now famous surgical amphitheater in Boston and changed medicine forever. Picture it, a packed operating theater, more than 100 physicians and students crammed shoulder to shoulder in a room that's thick with candle smoke, skepticism, and anticipation. Morton steps forward holding a small glass inhaler filled with ether, a liquid most of the observers had only ever used to clean surgical instruments. On the table lies Edward Abbott about to have a tumor removed from his jaw. Standing beside him is Dr. John Collins Warren, one of Harvard's founders. And his body goes completely still. And then right there in front of everyone, Dr. Warren begins the operation. He makes his first incision, then another. The patient doesn't scream. He doesn't even flinch. And the room is silent. 